Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe Hendy, the Android Authority app guy. So who owned a Dreamcast? No one? Bueller? Well, I sure did, and one of the best games for it was Crazy Taxi. Sega has now brought that game to Android, and we're going to take a closer look at it. If you played the original Crazy Taxi on Sega Dreamcast or in the arcades, then everything we are about to talk about will be wildly familiar to you. This is almost an exact port of the Dreamcast classic in almost every way, even the ridiculous game physics still hold true. In terms of control, the game gives you two options. You can use the tilt or the on-screen controls. If you like one or the other better, you have both options, but it doesn't quite matter which one you use because driving around isn't all that difficult anyway. Here's how the game works. It's a little more than an arcade game. You play ranked mode, 3 minute, 5 minute, and 10 minute modes, and then the crazy box mode where you can do really big jumps or bowl using the taxi. You earn money by taxiing people from place to place with bonus money being earned when you do cool stuff with your taxi. That's pretty much the whole game. The challenge comes from getting as many fares done as possible in the time allotted, and then there's a time limit per fare, so if you don't get there in time, they'll bail out of the moving vehicle and you lose the money they would have paid you. The graphics are about as good as you can expect from a Dreamcast arcade port. It's definitely been revamped and sharpened for Android screens, so it's not like playing an emulator where it'll get all fuzzy. It's sharp and it looks good. The sound and music is about as awesome as it always was. Instead of some generic video game music, you're treated to some old style punk rock by bands like The Offspring. For those who never played, it's reminiscent of games like the old Tony Hawk series. All in all, the graphics are what you could possibly hope for out of a Sega port, and the music is, well, totally awesome. Nothing amazing or fantastic, but not disappointing either. Okay, so here's what we liked about Crazy Taxi. The original game gameplay was pretty much perfectly ported. If you spent time years ago playing this game and loved it, you'll probably love it again. Thankfully, Sega understood what makes the game great to begin with and kept all of those elements. The music in this game is awesome if you're into that sort of music. The graphics aren't bad either, considering what Crazy Taxi is and where it came from. It won't win any awards, but you can definitely tell what's going on, and it's definitely enjoyable. It's a simple game. There isn't much to learn aside from the controls. Once you get those down, the game is really easy to play, so there's no ridiculous learning curve, and it's not really difficult to begin with. It is fun, slightly addictive, and a total throwback to one of the few games that made a real splash on the Dreamcast. There wasn't much to dislike about this game, mostly because there isn't much to the game to begin with, and that's the first thing we didn't like about it. It's an arcade game through and through, which means no story, no campaign, and no real content outside of the arcade modes. Once you get sick of the time challenges, you pretty much get sick of Crazy Taxi. If you don't like 90s punk rock, you'll likely play this game only on mute. Even if the Offspring and similar bands sold tens of millions of albums in the 90s, the kids today just don't like that kind of stuff anymore. Hey, at least it's not a bunch of Justin Bieber and Nicki Minaj tracks. At the end of the day, would we recommend this game? The answer is yes, we would. For $5, you can get a game that lived through the death of the arcade generation, through the crushing, depressing life cycle of the Sega Dreamcast, and a few more systems. There aren't many other games out there with those kind of bragging rights. We would also like to acknowledge the loyal, if somewhat small, fan base this game had over the course of its existence. For those people, $5 is well worth throwing at a game many of us played in our childhood. Everything is there, just like it used to be, and kudos to everyone involved for keeping it that way. So for the final thoughts, I'll say this. The game earned a 4.5 rating in the Play Store, and if you're into arcade-style games from the 90s and early 2000s, pick this one up. It's well worth it. Once again, I'm Joe Hendy, the Android Authority app guy. Feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and if you like this video, check out some of our other ones. Don't forget to check out the written companion to this video and the social media links in the video description. Thanks for watching, and have a wonderful day.